Welcome everybody. Uh, we are here today at Huntington Missionary Baptist Church for the second uh, devotion. Uh, this video devotion is a little new for us and uh, last week's uh, devotion I was really quite surprised with more than 500 viewers. So uh, with that said, uh, I would like to say also on YouTube, if you're interested, we have a lot of uh, videos uh, already recorded there, lots of sermons there. Uh, that you can take a look at at, at your pleasure. So we appreciate you uh, looking in, and we pray that you'll get a blessing from this. I'm here with Donna Thomason and Dr. Carter, who's going to, uh, Donna's going to sing today, um, He's All I Need, one of my favorite songs, and Dr. Carter going to accompany her on the piano. So uh, we hope you get a blessing out of this video. We hope that you're all well. And uh, Donna, we'll turn it over to you.
brilliant theologian in, in, uh, in his own right, uh, a, a sort of an impetuous man. He was outspoken, uh, always the one taking action rather quickly, really kind of a down-to-earth sort of person. I, I can really more identify with the Apostle Peter. Uh, but he writes here, he identifies himself as Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. And listen to this, I love this. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Here the Apostle Peter is telling us that God has provided everything that we stand in need of. You know, the scripture tells us in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and he made this wonderful world that we live in, uh, it has all the resources that you and I stand in need of here uh, to live here on, on this earth, uh, to live a, a good life, a fulfilling life, and, and praise the Lord. Uh, every day we're blessed uh, by uh, the exceeding riches of His grace. But not only has He provided for our physical well-being, but here Peter tells us especially that He has provided for our spiritual well-being that ultimately we will be partakers of the divine nature. Now, in uh, a couple more weeks, we're going to celebrate Easter. And uh, I like to share this with people. You know, Jesus Christ came down here. He became a man. He became like us. So that ultimately we, through his saving grace, could become like him. He became a man and uh, paid the price for our sins that we might be saved and have the hope and the assurance of eternal life and live with him forever in a, a place far more wonderful than this. And uh, this world is uh, unbelievably beautiful and magnificent and filled with uh, wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, but it's nothing in comparison to the world that is waiting for us after this life is over. But in Peter's writings, he shares with us uh, two very important things. And my thought today is be sure and be ready. Uh, Peter here in 2 Peter chapter 1, he tells us in verse 10 that we should give diligence to make our calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. And uh, I believe what Peter is talking about here is that every one of us needs to be sure that we've been saved by the grace of God. Uh, we're here on this earth and we're allowed the wonderful freedoms and, and blessings and privilege to enjoy life and all the things that God has provided here. But we have a responsibility uh, to uh, prepare to meet God, uh, to be saved by His marvelous grace. And we should be sure of that. And uh, Peter is here just reminding us that we should be diligent to make sure that we know that we are children of God. Jesus put um, this responsibility, I think, in, in, in great perspective by saying, what would it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And uh, we have uh, uh, are blessed in incredible ways to be able to enjoy all the resources of this world, but those things are our temple. But we need to be sure absolutely sure that we have been saved uh, by the grace of God. The Apostle John writes in 1 John, and he repeats the expression over and over that we know, we know, we know that we are the, the children of God. We know that we're going to be like Him. We know we have eternal life. And praise the Lord, we can absolutely know for sure that we have been saved. I hope and pray, if you're listening to this message today, that you are sure in your heart that you've been saved by God's grace and ready for that kingdom to come. In 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 15, Peter tells us there that we should be ready 
to give an answer to everyone that would ask us a reason for the hope that is in us. Uh, in other words, I think what Peter is saying here is we ought to be ready to be a witness to everyone that we come in contact with, to tell them uh, why that we uh, live the way we do, why that we believe the things that we do. I know I'm saved, and uh, praise the Lord, I'm, I'm happy to share that wonderful news with, with other people. In fact, the matter is, we should be, be willing and ready, as Peter says, uh, to share that wonderful, uh, wonderful good news with people. There's nothing better in the world than to know that you've been saved by God's grace, and then to be able to share that with your family members, your friends, people that you work with, your neighbors, whoever you come in contact with. So Peter here, encouraging us in these two vital points of, of interest for our life. Be sure that you've been saved yourself. Uh, give all diligence uh, to make sure that you've been saved by God's grace. And then be ready, you know, to share that wonderful news. We should give prayerful thought and consideration to the things that God has done in our lives, how he brought us from the, uh, the, the point of, of, of conviction of sin and brought us to the place of faith and trust in him and uh, how that we experienced his wonderful saving grace and to be able to share that wonderful good news with people so that they would know uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord and, and, and the Savior uh, of lost humanity. In the Psalms, I'm going to close here. Uh, the Psalms, David said, when the Lord saved him, that he brought him out of a horrible pit, set him on a rock, and established his going. And David said that the Lord had put a new song in his mouth, even praise to our God. And brothers and sisters, that wonderful testimony, uh, your personal experience of salvation, it's like a wonderful, beautiful song uh, that God would have us all to uh, go through this life singing praises to the Lord and, and sharing with anybody and, and everybody the good news that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he is the Savior of all of them who will put their faith and trust in him. God bless you is my prayer. Uh, I pray that uh, you'll be safe at home. Uh, I, I pray that we'll all just uh, be patient and, and practice a little uh, uh, common sense safety at, at, at home and look forward to the time when we'll be able to gather uh, together soon, be able to worship uh, together with one another. I would like to pray for you, and uh, I pray that God will bless you in every way. Holy Father, we give you praise today. We thank you, Lord, that your amazing grace your infinite power uh, and goodness and grace has provided for all of our needs, Lord. And, and every day we are, we are blessed uh, with your wonderful, wonderful blessings. You sustain us. You give us life. You uh, keep us healthy and, 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 and blessed in every possible way. We praise you for that. We praise you for making salvation possible, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that you would help us also, having been saved, we pray that you would help us also to be a light, to be a witness to others, to be ready, in fact, uh, to share this wonderful good news uh, with others. That Jesus saves, that I know I've been saved by his grace, and that we want everyone, everyone, uh, to be saved by your grace as well. We praise you and thank you for all these blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless, brothers and sisters. We'll uh, speak with you again soon.